want to create multiple streams of passive income. This is my favorite one because I'm going to blow it out of the water. Most of you do not know what an MSI is, multiple stream of income. So get a pen and paper. Let's straighten you out today. Okay, the three things I wanna talk about is how do you really build passive income? What does that mean? Number two, how do you build a database of extra streams of income and really build that out of other joint ventures? And I'm gonna tell you what I do for MSIs, multiple streams of income. And number three, what are the biggest misunderstandings of multiple streams of income? There were books written about this, extreme, extreme confusion. So some MSI books actually talked about you should have three completely different sources of income right? You should have real estate, you should have publishing, and then maybe a direct sales company. That actually was a model of someone. Interesting and worked for them. For me, I would say that's not going to work for the average normal Jill and Joe out there. Why? Three different databases. So your business starts with the following. So I've been a money expert and picked that early in my career, right? 1996, when I jumped out of Chevron being an exercise physiologist and became this. First in the Rich Dad Poor Dad camp, Bob Proctor, you know, all the guys, Mark Victor Hansen, Jack Canfield, all the guys. And then in 2000, 2001, went on my own to do what you now know me to do. I jumped into money from the beginning. So I have been building a database since I began around money. That's it. I'm a money expert, business expert. So it's a really wide umbrella. So are you really going to have a real estate database and all of the accoutrements that come with that business? And then you're going to have a different database around a different topic and another database. You can. Now I do have multiple databases because I am in a lot of things, but I'm also a mature entrepreneur. As a beginner, you want to pick one thing and put a big umbrella on top of yourself. So just don't say you're a videographer, right? Say you're a digital marketer, put a bigger name on it. Now you have a lot more ways to do things and you're going to supplement with team. So I learned this strategy early, early on is I offer a lot. I offer you tax reviews. Do I do them? No, but I have an entire tax team that will do them for you so we can still do that and make money. So where I want you to think about multiple streams of incomes and how you build it is what's the core and how do you have additive revenue, which is passive to you around the same topic. I mean, I'm going to go back to a website. What does it take to build a website? It's not just video. It's copy. It's photography. It's the layout. It's the sales conversion, right? The converting sales letter, it's ads, there's a lot to it. So are you really gonna be the one expert to solve it all? Or are you gonna put a team together to solve it all? It's the team. So what I put together is a team to solve all money and business issues. So that's MSI. So I make a percent of either being in the company with another expert, or we have a referral relationship to each other. I refer them business, they refer me business back. They handle certain fulfillments, I handle certain fulfillments. So that's really where you have passive income and multiple streams of passive income. It comes from an aligned source around one common theme. So it's not around having three, four, five highly diverse things which then you've got to have three or four or five different databases, which means you've got to produce that much more content. The other big benefit of having a lot of referral partners and joint venture partners in a multiple stream of income, passive income structure is you don't have to do all the work, right? If I want to talk about insurance, I'm going to bring Jason on with me and we're going to do all sorts of videos around insurance. If I want to talk about corporate structure and entities, I'm going to bring Scott on, that partner. We're going to talk about all those kinds of things. So you actually get to share the lift and the load and everyone gets multiple streams of income. It's a more lucrative model. But a lot of you, you're going like four or five different directions. None of it makes sense. None of it has an aligned customer. And then who are you? Like everyone knows, like, that I'm in money and business. I am never asked, what are you into now, Laurel? Like nobody would even ask me that I've been doing what I've been doing for so long. So that also builds high credibility and sustainability. You're gonna have more people in your brand. What you don't wanna become is the jack of all trades. And that's where a lot of you are. And women, you're the worst at it, right? You're the jack of all trades. You're the master of none. Write this down. Strengthen your strengths. Hire your weaknesses. Do not strengthen your weaknesses. It's a waste of your time. You've got a very short runway through this thing called life to really get it done and monetize greatly. You've got about 20 to 30 years of amazing monetization years. You need to use them and build on them, not scatter. And when I see people scatter, it's when I see them lose their wealth and lose their runway and lose their team and they lose their database. So I've been talking about a database. Bob Proctor told me when I was 21 years old. And even when I was 21 into my like late 20s when I joined the Rich Dad Poor Dad team, I still built a database. So 
So even when I jumped into the Rich Dad Poor Dad and out of the exercise physiology world, I didn't leave those people behind. I let them know that I'm changing topics. I'm going from you know health to wealth. And guess how many of them came along? Not all of them, but a lot of them were just curious about me taking such a big jump from one industry to another industry, complete brand identity change. And I still moved all of those people with me. And a lot of them, executives even from Chevron that I worked with became my clients as I moved into this side. So a database is something that you capture your whole lifetime. My son's 23. And uh, this summer, he is going to get a rapid marketing system. And uh, Steve right here, who's with me in the video studio, is going to get him one and he's gonna learn because right now he's working in Congress. I said, you gotta keep track of all these people you're meeting early in your career. It's probably the best gift Bob Proctor ever gave me is build a database from the minute you start meeting people and keep track of them your entire lifetime. Because as long as you stay high touch and high connectivity and ask them questions, how can I help you? What, what's up for you? They're always gonna follow you. So go to askrms.com for 297 bucks a month. We will do this for you. It is absolutely imperative you start building a database and track who you know, how you know them and what their needs are so you're always available to serve them. The last thing I wanna say about databases before I move on is I can take anybody with any topic, totally unrelated to money or business, but again, they're probably in business doing something to make money, and I can invite them into my podcast, I can invite them to give an offer to my list for something that I don't do. So if I have somebody say that wants to come and sell some great like health technology to you, guess what, people with money need health technologies my database will buy it and will revenue share on it. So I can tell you a database is one of the greatest assets you're ever gonna build in your lifetime. So let us help you. Now, before I go on to the last point, I want you to subscribe to my channel, click the notification button. I want you here five days a week. I don't do this for my health, I do it for your knowledge because you need business and money knowledge, what you know for the most part is not accurate. And a lot of you, oh my gosh, I feel sorry for you, you're overpaying taxes, you're doing all sorts of odd things to your financial life because you haven't been taught right. Let me teach you. In fact, while I'm giving you that invitation, come to my Millionaire Intensive, go through it, get a one-on-one -on -one appointment with our strategy team, talk about what kind of company you need, get our RMS system, like let's get going. The only reason you're not making money today and doing what you need to do and have multiple streams of passive income is because you haven't begun active income. And active income precedes passive income. Passive income is not just gonna flow out of the air, right? You've gotta create active income, put it to work properly and it comes back passively. That's how the machine works. So again, the biggest misunderstanding I probably I layered throughout this whole video, which is don't have a whole bunch of scattered stuff. True to passive income comes usually from like royalty residuals, trademark residuals, assets, right? The pattern of a millionaire is you make money and you invest money into assets that produce passive income. So whether that's rental income, and I really have a hard time with the word passive because there's enough passive means nothing, mean doing nothing. And as an active investor, I'm passive. I passively give my money to other partners. They buy real estate, they manage it, and I get cash flow checks, but that's active and passive because I'm overseeing what they're doing. I wanna make sure that I get my checks and I wanna make sure that I get paid and that the investment's working properly. And if there's any fall down, I have enough knowledge I can lean in and support. So don't think that there's just this massive thing called passive income. And again, I'm gonna end with this. If you don't have active income, you're not getting passive income. So wake up, talk to you tomorrow.